When I first started spray painting, like really first started it out, I didn't really understand that there were two different kinds of spray cans under the nitro acrylic umbrella. So I use all nitro acrylic cans and they actually include high pressure and low pressure cans. Some brands actually have only one pressure of can or like a medium pressure can, but I can go over that in a later video. But today I really wanted to talk to you about high pressure versus low pressure cans, how to use them and the difference it will make in your work. So in this video specifically, I'm going to cover high pressure and low pressure cans from Montana. So we have Montana Gold and Montana Black. So these are both cans from the same company. This is the low pressure can, uh, that's Montana Gold. So this is not a gold paint, it's actually like a light purple paint. But if it says Montana Gold, you know that's a low pressure can. If it's Montana Black, that is a high pressure can. This is also kind of like a purpley color. I use a combination of both of these cans in my work. I typically use the high pressure cans for the larger areas in my work and the low pressure cans for the smaller areas and the details. All right, so let me give you guys a little demonstration. All right, so high pressure and low pressure cans from Montana. We're gonna start with Montana Gold, the low pressure can. Um, so low pressure cans are typically best to use um, if you're a beginner uh, because they're easier to control. Uh, it has a, a lower paint output than the high pressure cans do. Using a low pressure paint can will also help reduce the likeliness of getting drips when you spray close to the wall. So I'm using a skinny cap right now with this low pressure can and that's what I would recommend to use uh, for fine lines and details. You can use fat caps on these cans, but it's best to keep the output low to maintain control of the paint. So I would uh, prefer using a skinny cap with a low pressure can. All right, so now for high pressure cans. And I put a skinny cap on this just to kind of show you the difference in the lines. A lot of times you'll find that you need to shake a high pressure can a lot more. Look at how opaque this paint is coming out. You're actually getting a higher pressure through the nozzle Right, so you're getting actually more paint in one stroke than you did with the low pressure can. Mind you, this type of paint isn't that economical of a paint. Uh, you are going to use a lot more paint a lot faster, yet it will cover a lot more surface area a lot faster as well. The only downside of a high pressure can is that it sacrifices control for speed, so you're more likely to get drips if, by spraying closer to the wall unless you have the correct amount of speed to create lines like this. I do plan to make a can control video to discuss how to control the can properly in a later video. So be sure to click that notification bell and that subscribe button if you haven't already. So here you can see I made those same skinny lines with the low pressure paint, but you can see that it's not as opaque as the high pressure paint was. So as long as you have the right speed and control, you can really use either kind of can. If you haven't already, I'd recommend to get some plywood or some boards to practice on like this. Um, it gives you a good surface area and you don't need to go hunting for a wall to practice on. All right, now I'm gonna show you the difference uh, between the low pressure and high pressure using a fat cap. So this is the pink dot cap and this is the low pressure can. So you can see pretty well that the opacity isn't that great. So let's try a high pressure can. Always be sure to clear your cap first, like I just did. All right, oh, look at that paint. That is a nice opaque line right there. So yeah, you get a lot more paint output with the high pressure cans versus the low pressure cans. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you learned something from this video. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to put those in the comments below and I'll respond to you as soon as I can. Also, be sure to like this video if you had any interest or learned anything from it. It would really help me out in the future, and I'd really greatly appreciate it to know how much people are really getting out of these videos. Well, I'll be dropping another video again very soon, so again, press that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop my next video. But until then, remember to stay peaceful, as a calm mind is a creative mind. Now go get inspired, be an influence, and make something beautiful today.